everybody, my name is Bill. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Google+, Twitter, and Facebook, right there. Uh, go ahead and follow me if you like. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, give me the thumbs up. And uh, go ahead and hit that plus one button. I hope you enjoy my videos. And uh, keep staying tuned for more videos. I'm uploading new stuff every couple days. Uh, my YouTube channel has been up for a while now. Hope you enjoy my videos. Have a great day. Thanks for subscribing. What's up, everybody? This is Bill. I'm going to do a video review for you here today. Uh, I have my Nexus 7, and I recently purchased, placed an order for some NFC tags or NFC chips. I bought them from tagsfordroid.com. Uh, tags for Droid has them pretty cheap. Um, 10 chips for $15.99, free shipping, and a free key tag in the U.S. So uh, these are the size of a quarter, and uh, let's get started. I'm going to show you some apps to operate your NFC K tags. Okay, so first of all, let's go over a couple of the apps. You have uh, this app right here is called Insta Wi-Fi. So if you go into Insta Wi-Fi, uh, what this is showing is uh, my Wi-Fi network. And I have Insta Wi-Fi already set up to this keychain tag, NFC tag. So what it'll do is if I scan the Nexus 7 to the key tag and I have the mobile hotspot, my Wi-Fi hotspot turned on on my HTC One S, I'll show you how that works. This should sync. So you can see there, scanning, authenticating, successfully connected. So you can see here, if we go into the Wi-Fi networks, connected, Big Daddy HTC One S hotspot. So it, within this application, you would write in your pass, your security code, and all that. And then you also have a QR code to create. So what the QR code creates is you enter in your network, the password, and all that. It creates a QR code matching up with that information. So if one of your friends comes over or something like that, they don't have an NFC-capable device. All they need to have is a barcode scanner or QR code scanner. Scan the QR code. It will give them the option on their, phone, on their smartphone or their tablet to automatically connect. All you have to do is hit connect connects to your Wi-Fi network. So I have this set up for my home network. So when my friends and family come over, all they got to do is scan this. They're going to connect right to my home network so I don't got to give out the security code or write it down or anything. And it's there is no buttons on the QR code. All you do is hit connect on the uh, NFC keychain uh, tag that I set up. You just simply scan it with your uh, Nexus 7 or your Galaxy S3 or your HTC One X, uh, whatever device you have that supports QR code or supports uh, NFC. So anyway, uh, that's that app. Okay, another app that is pretty awesome on the uh, Nexus 7. And again, I don't have any other NFC-related devices, so this is the only thing I've tried these out on is my Nexus 7. So we have NFC task launcher so when you go into NFC task launcher uh, you can see here if we hit home you can see here it says new tag or buy tags so you can order tags straight from the company that sells these um, and uh, you can see here it says chip one Google music now I've labeled my chips so I have chip one right here and uh, these also have a sticky back you can peel this off and stick it to whatever you want so I have uh, Chip One is titled Chip One Google Music. If you go in here, it's going to show you what all it is enabled to do. So right now, Chip One Google Music is enabled to turn on Wi-Fi, and it connects to my home network. Uh, turn on Bluetooth, launch Google Music, dim brightness to 25%, and tweet using NFC tag on my hashtag Nexus 7 to listen to hashtag Google Music. So it will do all that in one scan. So if we back up, back out of the app, you can see we're out of the app. We take our chip number one here, set it down. 
You can see there, found tag, enabling Wi-Fi, watch down at the bottom here, uh, setting brightness level, posting tweet, and launching Google Play Music. So now we have Google Play Music launched, we have my screen dim, I, can, I got my Bluetooth on, so I can jam out using my Bluetooth headphones. You can see here, if we go up here into the settings, we go look at... Uh, our automatic mode is turned checked off and the screen brightness down to 24 percent which is what I had it set at uh, you got your Bluetooth which is on and Wi-Fi on and Wi-Fi is now connected to home network so you can see how that works very clever so let's see here so now if we turn back off Bluetooth turn black back Wi-Fi turn this back up so the other app that I want to show you real quick tag info NXP tag info NXP is this app right here now if you're wanting to scan a tag to see what kind of information it has simply launch the app it has different modes here that'll show you the different features of the tag so it says right up here touch a tag for info so we're going to take chip one that we showed you earlier sit down there it goes scan scan tag one so here you go here is all the uh, information about the tag uh, info all the info, there's the payload of it, the writing of it. Tells you everything about the tag that you just scanned. So if you're wanting to learn about your tags and what all kind of information they have or what they hold, uh, go get Tag Info NXP. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the basics of writing or rewriting a NFC tag or NFC chip so this is how you do it I will launch my NFC task launcher app uh, which you can find for free in the Play Store uh, you can see here I already had it on this so it came into a switch tag contains two tasks and toggles between them when tapped so I took chip one that I titled chip one I took that and I made it so it does two different things now so what I've done is made it so it will on the first scan it will turn on Google Music it will tweet that I'm using a NFC tag on my Nexus 7 to listen to Google Music it will turn on Wi-Fi and it will dim the screen brightness to 25 percent and launch Google Music so that's uh, what that chip does and then that's on the first task the second task turn off Bluetooth uh, turn screen brightness back to 100 percent and open Google now so I will show you how this is how this works so as you can see here I have Bluetooth is off uh, screen brightness is at 98 percent and Wi-Fi is off so we'll scan my tag for the first time put a chip down okay it says found tag so here we go setting screen brightness enabling Bluetooth setting brightness level posting tweet and opening Google Music so you can see here Wi-Fi is on connected to my home network uh, Bluetooth is enabled so I can listen to my Bluetooth headphones and the screen brightness is now at 24 percent to save my battery life while jamming out to some Google music so let's see what happens right from there with uh, chip one on the second so there you go I accepted it found it disabled Bluetooth setting brightness setting brightness level opened Google now and you can see this has done the exact opposite Bluetooth is off Wi-Fi still on screen brightness is now at 98 percent and it launched Google now and if we just hit the back button not home you still got Google music loaded 
but Google Music is not playing anymore. So that's how two tasks work with NFC Task Launcher. The basics of rewriting a NFC tag or NFC chip, we're going to take uh, chip 2. That's what we'll call him. We're going to take chip 2. Let's get all this other stuff out of the way. We're going to take chip 2 and we're going to rewrite him with our Nexus 7 and NFC Task Launcher. So we can come up here. Let's make sure everything is... Put this back to 100. Okay. NFC Task Launcher. Let's go back. We're going to write a new tag. Our new tag. So we're going to click on new tag. And we are going to add... We're going to add an action. We're going to make this one so it will take the display and adjust the brightness of the display. We'll take it down to about 75, somewhere in there. 69% is what it's reading right there. Okay. And then we're going to take and have it do uh, social media. Let's see. Let's back up. Let's have it do an application. Let's click on uh, applications. Now you can set it in car dock mode, whatever you'd like. So we're going to go to my applications. And let's have it so it launches uh, one of my favorite apps here would be Dude Perfect. So it says Dude Perfect. There we go. Hit OK. We're going to have it launch Dude Perfect. Turn the screen brightness down to 69% so we can play a game. And let's have it take, and take us off Wi-Fi so we're not getting interrupted here. So Wi-Fi is going to be disabled. Now you can also put it on toggle so every time you scan a chip, it turns off Wi-Fi, turns on Wi-Fi. Whatever you have the Wi-Fi at at the time it's going to do the opposite we're going to make it disable Wi-Fi so there we go we're going to hit up here you can see up here it says done done it's asking us to scan our tag so we're going to take our Nexus 7 tag was written successfully we get that little message there it says tag was successfully written <laughs> So there we go. Now tag two is written to do one simple task. So let's see how that works. There we go. Founding tag. Setting screen brightness. Launching our app. There's dude perfect. And there you go. Now we can go play some Dude Perfect. So that is how you use an NFC tag. I will leave a link to uh, NFC tags for Droid in the description. And I will leave some links to the apps that I'm currently using for NFC that I know work. Have a great day.